Everyone talks about the weight loss associated with GLP-1s, but what if I told you that these medications may be one of the most powerful longevity tools that we've ever discovered? By the end of this video, you're going to understand why GLP agonists are so much more than just weight loss medications, and why the benefits you can't see might matter even more than the number on the scale. You're going to learn the hidden things these medications are doing inside your body. Things like protecting your heart, lowering inflammation, and most people have never even heard this part, but it's the part that could change your entire health trajectory. But that's exactly what this video is for. Because the more you understand these hidden benefits, the more confident you'll feel in your journey, and the more empowered you'll be to advocate for yourself, and the better prepared you'll be to use GLP-1s as a tool for health, not just for shrinking a number on a scale. So let's get started. First, let's talk about how GLP-1 agonists work. Most people either know about or were started on GLP-1 agonists for one of two reasons, either diabetes or weight loss. The GLP-1 molecule is a natural incretion hormone that signals multiple organs in the body, most notably the pancreas and GI tract. At the level of the pancreas, it helps the pancreas release insulin in a glucose-dependent manner, and at the level of the GI tract, it decreases gut motility to slow down digestion and help you feel full quicker. But that's not all it does. Because the GLP-1 molecule has systemic effects, it acts throughout your body on different chemical pathways and different organs. This is where the true magic happens. First up is the cardiovascular benefits. GLP-1 agonists provide significant cardiovascular benefits that extend well beyond their metabolic effects. Meta-analysis of 10 cardiovascular outcome trials involving over 67,000 patients reveal that GLP-1 receptor agonists significantly reduce major adverse cardiovascular events by 13% cardiovascular death by 14%, and all-cause mortality by 13%. The clinical trial I really wanted to highlight is the SUSTAIN-6 trial, which uses semaglutide. It looked at 3,297 patients with type 2 diabetes and high cardiovascular risk, and followed them for two years while they were on semaglutide weekly. The study showed a 26% reduction in major adverse cardiovascular events, which could be stroke, heart attack, or death, due to other cardiac issues, major reductions in non-fatal stroke, almost 39% reduction, and more importantly, the effects were observed before significant weight loss occurred, reinforcing that GLP-1s act on vascular and inflammatory pathways directly. The cardiovascular protection operates through multiple mechanisms, including improved blood pressure control, enhanced lipid profiles, and reduced inflammation. GLP-1 agonists also exert positive ionotropic effects on the heart, which help it squeeze harder and stronger and preserve left ventricular structure and function and reduce pro-inflammatory cytokine expression in the myocardium. Studies also suggest that these drugs enhance microvascular function and myocardial perfusion, which increases blood flow to the heart, contributing to overall cardiac health. Personally, I know a lot of cardiologists who have started prescribing GLP-1 agonists for their patients regardless of BMI. So definitely speak to your doctor about this if you haven't already. Next up is kidney health. Our kidneys act like tiny filters, removing toxins and regulating blood pressure and fluid balance. But over time, inflammation, high insulin levels, and oxidative stress can damage these filters. What's fascinating is that GLP-1s don't just slow the damage, they actually help reverse parts of the metabolic dysfunction that cause chronic kidney disease in the first place. We now have multiple large clinical trials showing that GLP-1 agonists reduce albuminuria, which is the amount of protein in the urine. Ideally, in a healthy individual, there should be no protein in the urine. Reduce progression to end-stage kidney disease, improve renal blood flow and glomerular pressure, and lower inflammation in the renal microvasculature. The FLOW trial was a landmark trial which showed the benefits of semaglutide on kidney health. It followed 3,533 patients with type 2 diabetes and chronic kidney disease over three years while they were on semaglutide. It showed 24% reduction in kidney disease progression, an 18% reduction in kidney failure, or the need for dialysis, which is insane, and lower albuminuria by 20 to 30% in most groups, and delayed EGFR decline compared with placebo. And just like with the cardiovascular benefits, these improvements happened early, often before patients even lost any significant weight. So yes, GLP-1 agonists help with weight, but behind the scenes, they're literally protecting your kidneys from long-term damage. Next up is the liver. Right now, one in three adults in the U.S. have fatty liver disease, and most don't even know it. Untreated, it can progress to inflammation, fibrosis, and cirrhosis, and even liver cancer. GLP-1 receptor agonists have emerged as one of the most promising treatments for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, aka NASH, which are the leading causes of cirrhosis to this day. Currently, there is no FDA-approved medication that exists specifically for NASH, but GLP-1 agonists have shown considerable potential in this area. 
Clinical trials demonstrate that semaglutide achieved NASH resolution in 59% of patients at the highest dose compared to 17% with placebo after 72 weeks of treatment. Trizepatide, aka Manjaro or Zepbound, also had a clinical trial for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which followed 152 patients with metabolic dysfunction associated fatty liver disease for 52 weeks and monitor their liver health using magnetic resonance elastography. It measures the liver stiffness to diagnose and stage liver diseases like fibrosis and cirrhosis. The study showed up to 30% reduction in liver fat, and the craziest part is that it showed significant fibrosis improvement indicators as decreased MRE stiffness. This was mind blowing to me because throughout medical school and to this day, we are taught that fibrosis is irreversible damage to liver cells, and the current studies are literally showing otherwise. Actually, the clinical trial findings for the benefits on retitrutide and liver health and the reversal of fibrosis is even crazier, but I could talk about that in another video if you guys want. I just want to take a quick second and see which of these hidden GLP-1 benefits surprise you the most so far. Drop it in the comments. I love reading your experiences, and while you're down there, please hit like and subscribe so that this video reaches more people who need this information. Now let's keep going. GLP-1s also have neuroprotective and cognitive benefits. I talked about this in my previous video on GLP-1s and dementia, but emerging evidence suggests that GLP-1 agonists possess significant neuroprotective properties with the potential benefits for cognitive function and neurodegenerative diseases. These medications improve cognitive outcomes and brain function, particularly in early stages of neurodegeneration and among high-risk populations with type 2 diabetes. The neuroprotective mechanisms include anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that reduce brain inflammation and oxidative stress, both contributors to neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's. GLP-1 agonists cross the blood-brain barrier and enhance insulin signaling in key brain regions like the hippocampus, where insulin resistance is associated with cognitive decline. They also enhance hippocampal synaptic plasticity with the ability of these brain neurons to form connections and promote neuronal survival. Right now, the biggest trials underway are the Evoke and Evoke Plus trial, which is looking at the benefits of semaglutide in individuals with early Alzheimer's disease. We don't yet know if semaglutide will officially slow Alzheimer's in these big trials, but the fact that we're even running these studies tells you how strong the neuroprotective signals have been in animal models and smaller human studies. So the future really is bright. Cancer risk reduction. Large retrospective studies suggest that GLP-1 receptor agonists may reduce overall cancer risk, particularly for obesity-associated cancers. Recently, a study published in JAMA, which was a matched cohort study of over 86,000 adults, found overall cancer incidence was lower among GLP-1 receptor agonist users compared to non-users, with a 17% overall risk reduction. Specific reductions were seen for endometrial cancer, which showed about a 25% reduction, ovarian cancer, which showed a significant 47% reduction, and meningiomas, which showed a 31% reduction. Also, studies consistently demonstrate protective effects against several gastrointestinal cancers, including a 58% reduction in hepatocellular carcinoma risk. A lot of this makes sense, right? Increased fat leads to increased estrogen, which can lead to continuous and uncontrolled growth of endometrial and ovarian cells, which are very sensitive to estrogen. Also, increased visceral fat can lead to insulin resistance, which causes fatty changes to the liver and increases the risk of liver cancer. However, on top of the benefits that weight loss itself produces to reduce cancer risk, early lab and animal studies suggest that GLP-1 signaling may directly slow tumor cell proliferation in some models, promote apoptosis, which is programmed cell death, and improve immune surveillance in the tumor microenvironment to prevent tumor growth and try and attack cancer cells early. The data is still early, but if ongoing trials confirm these findings, we may be looking at GLP-1s not just as weight loss drugs, but as part of the future of cancer prevention strategies in high-risk metabolic patients. Anti-inflammatory and autoimmune benefits. GLP-1 receptor agonists exert broad anti-inflammatory effects across multiple organ systems through both direct and indirect mechanisms. These medications regulate several inflammatory pathways, including cytokine production, oxidative stress, and recruitment of immune cells in various organs. GLP-1 receptors are expressed on immune cells, and activation reduces production of inflammatory cytokines and infiltration of immune cells into tissues. I personally have a lot of patients who are successfully microdosing GLP-1s to help with inflammation, whether it's from conditions such as osteo or rheumatoid arthritis, endometriosis, or even lupus, and they truly feel and notice a significant improvement in pain and quality of life. 
I might make a video on this in the future, but my wife was diagnosed with stage four endometriosis, and some days she was left in crippling pain from the amount of inflammation going on. She started on a low dose of terzepatia, and her symptoms have significantly improved. Now, don't get me wrong, given how extensive her disease was, she needed a pretty grueling surgery, which removed endometrial tissue from her bowels, chest wall, and even her ureters. But even after surgery, she would have occasional flare-ups. But after starting terzepatide, she was basically symptom-free. It was crazy, but this leads me to the next benefit. PCOS and fertility benefits. For women with PCOS, GLP-1s are doing a lot more than helping the scale go down. In multiple randomized trials, short-term GLP-1 therapy with either exenatide, liraglutide, and most recently semaglutide has led to more weight loss, better insulin sensitivity, lower testosterone, and more regular periods, and higher pregnancy rates compared with metformin alone. One trial of exenatide in overweight women with PCOS more than doubled the natural rate of pregnancy versus metformin, 44% versus 19%. Another study found that adding low-dose liraglutide to metformin before IVF treatments almost tripled the pregnancy rate per embryo transfer and nearly doubled the 12-month cumulative pregnancy rate, even though both groups lost a similar amount of weight. And in 2025, a trial of semaglutide plus metformin showed greater weight loss, improved insulin resistance, lower testosterone, fewer menstrual irregularities, and higher natural pregnancy rates than metformin alone. So when we talk about GLP-1s and PCOS, we're not just talking about cosmetic weight loss. We're talking about restoring ovulation, improving egg quality and endometrial environment, and in many cases, giving women a real chance at the fertility they were told they might never have. Important note, in these studies, GLP-1s were usually used before trying to conceive and then stopped prior to IVF or active attempts, because right now these drugs are not approved for use during pregnancy. Last but not least, addiction and substance use disorders. GLP-1 receptors live in the same reward circuits that alcohol, nicotine, opioids, and even sugar stimulate. So when you take a GLP-1 agonist, you're not just changing appetite. You're literally tuning down the reward response in parts of the brain that drive craving and compulsion. Emerging research suggests that GLP-1 receptor agonists may help treat alcohol and substance use disorders. A Swedish nationwide study showed through eight years of follow-up found individuals using GLP-1 agonists, especially semaglutide, had markedly lower risk of alcohol-related hospitalizations compared to periods when not using them. One small study of patients with opioid use disorder found that a GLP-1 medication reduced cravings by 40% over three weeks. Another study showed that people with opioid or alcohol use disorder who took GLP-1 agonists had a 40% lower rate of opioid overdose and 50% lower rate of alcohol intoxication. Early science suggests that GLP-1s may play a real role in the future of addiction treatment, especially for people with both metabolic and substance use challenges. There you have it, eight hidden benefits of GLP-1 agonists besides just weight loss. But remember, when you step back and look at all the data, the heart protection, the inflammation reduction, and hormonal balance, it becomes clear that GLP-1 agonists are not just weight loss tools. They are metabolic medications that have the potential to transform how we think about chronic disease. And that's why this matters. Because for the first time, we're not just treating symptoms. We're targeting the underlying physiology. We're restoring organ systems and pathways that have been out of balance for years. So no matter where you are on your journey, know this. You deserve to feel healthy. You deserve to feel strong and you deserve a life that isn't controlled by cravings, pain, or fatigue. You're not just changing your body, you're reclaiming your life. And I'm genuinely proud of you for taking that step. So I'll see you next time.